What's up, grinders? Country CEO back in the house again, man. Look, got a good topic for you today. One of my guys, subscribers, asked this question about emissions. Better known to us as DEF. It's DEF system that's on these trucks. And, you know, how's that been treating me, maybe, and others from what I've heard and all that kind of stuff, right? And as you see behind me, you see the little DEF tank right there. I'm showing it to you, right? That's where we put our diesel exhaust fluid in and all of that good stuff, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to jump in the truck, show you a few things about this DEF system. All right, that's just a tank where you fill it up at. But we're going to chat a little bit when I jump inside the truck, show you a few things about how it works for those of you who may not know, and then tell you how my experience has went and is going as it relates to this diesel exhaust system or the emissions system that came into play back in 2007 seven right all right so tag along with us and let me show you a few things about death in emissions all right you two i'm in the truck man just wanted to show you the um death button or whatever regen button many of you may know what it's been uh what typically will happen is is when the truck uh needs to regen uh you'll get a signal of course up on your dashboard somewhere that's going to tell you it's time for it, right? And the signal that you're going to see is going to look just like this here, right? You see how that looks? You're going to see that little cloud or whatever, how you want to describe that. That's going to also come up on your dashboard, right? And it's going to be blinking, all right? And that's how you know you need to pull over for a regen. It basically gives you about an hour to pull over somewhere and regen. And uh, once you uh, pull over... Uh, this truck pretty much takes about 45, 50 minutes to regen. I just simply pull over at a store, uh, a good spot, push the button, let it go ahead and get started. And I like to stop at a store sometimes because it just gives me the chance to stretch my legs, go in a store, right? So basically that's how it happens. Uh, it does it on its own. You don't have to do it. Once it calls for it, you simply press that button and it begins to regen the truck, all right? So that's kind of like the process uh of what happens as it relates to the regeneration for the emissions right all right so um i'm gonna give you a little more by the way of uh what you know the experiences that i've had with regen all right but i want to be looking at your face all right so let me turn my camera around so you can see my face all right, Grinder, so i'm looking at you i want to be looking at you when i talk to you about uh the regen uh, since I had uh, the truck, first truck with Regen, we had have some experiences with it. I'll be honest with you, uh, but it was nothing that discouraged us, right? But we were experiencing some uh, issues with sensors and things of that nature, right? Uh, there uh, was a night uh, I was working that I had a real bad experience. I'll share it with you, whereby... Um, the truck um, w wanted to go into a derate mode, and uh, and I normally would be able to bypass it, right? You bypass it by, normally if you kill it one time, crank it back up, it allow you to bypass, and now it enable you to get home, right? But it wouldn't let me bypass or anything at that point, and I was probably about uh, 40 miles from Baton Rouge. I was working in Hammond, Louisiana. And basically, y'all, I had 5 and 10 miles per hour hit from Hammond to Baton Rouge. But the good thing about it, and there's always a silver lining in a dark crowd cloud is is that it was at night right we was working on a night job i had just dumped the first load and then boom it happened and i basically it was already nine ten o'clock at night i hit the back roads and weighed my way to baton rouge and it took me about six hours but i made it uh to the dealership pulled in pulled the park brake and just simply waited for them to open drop the truck off wife came and got me went home right and so that was by far the worst experience of catching me in a bad situation right and then I think it was one other time where it was doing it. And I basically, I stay about 40 miles from the dealership. And so I just got up about three o'clock one morning. Instead of calling a tow truck, paying six, seven hundred dollars. I slow rode it all the way to the dealership, right? It took about three hours three three and a half hours to do it but hey it saved me five six hundred dollars right so uh with the uh, 2013 that i've already had i probably spent about i'm gonna be honest with you 
three, four thousand dollars, about four thousand dollars on death issues, but it was sensors. Now keep in mind, I've had this truck two years. It was a six year old truck when I bought it, right? So it was a 2013. So by that time, you're going to be replacing sensors. So I didn't get discouraged by that because you're going to be replacing sensors and them sensors are high. I mean, two, one of them, two of them that I replaced was like six hundred dollars a piece. All right. I got the whole system. Everybody, anybody to tell you about death after so many years that carbon builds up and you have to get the whole system clean, right? I went through a cleaning. So I, I put probably four, three or four sensors. They high dollar sensors. I got the whole system cleaned out, which every trucker that's got death at some point go get it done. So I wasn't doing something that wasn't going to have to be done at some point, right? And so I got the whole system redone. I mean, that hit me. That really was the big one that hit me for like 15, 16, 17 hundred dollars at one time but honestly speaking i have spent four maybe five thousand dollars dealing with death issues but um other than that once we uh took care of those bugs basically the uh uh, service guy told me, he said, well, man, I'm gonna be honest with you. I know it cost you a little money. He said, but guess what? He said, you got the biggest of what could cost you the most money behind you. Anything else would be minor issues, right? And so I was glad to hear that. Yeah, it cost me four or $5,000, but, uh, I got the biggest things that could cost me money behind me as it relates to the deaf system. All right. And at the time of this video, I hadn't been to the shop in for that in months. And the one time that I had to go was because of a power, uh, a, a power line from the battery box going to the ECM for the deaf had uh, failed, right? And if I would have could have caught that, knew that, and checked that coming from the battery box, it was something that I actually could have replaced myself, right? All right, so. Um, you guys may have more questions about death. I know it scares a lot about uh, people. Obviously, yeah, if we didn't have to deal with that, it would be much easier out here, you know. But nevertheless, it's the law, right? And you can't keep on buying 2007 and uh, older trucks. At some point, you got to upgrade your fleet and try to uh, get with the program. And that comes with the territory, right? So uh, six eggs in one hand, half a dozen in another. You can deal with older truck without death. But you're going to be still be having to spend on parts as that truck gets older. Or you can get a later model truck. You might have to deal with death. But you got a newer truck and you ain't going to be having all those issues, right? Now, uh, I have had uh, a friend of mine bought a truck. Uh, and he had all kind of death issues. And it was a new truck, right? So it wasn't a used truck with death issues. It was a new truck with death issues. And uh, he, he just just caught a tough time but it was under warranty they just re took the whole system out because they got tired of him coming down there for this for that for this and they just gave they just it was under warranty they just redone the whole system put a whole brand new system in it, and then he didn't have any more problem okay all right so i know it's gonna probably be some questions uh on this so just look put them in the chat i'll be glad to answer look if this video has been helpful to you hit the like hit the subscribe share this video hit the notification bell tell someone about this video right so look i'm out of here man no grind no shine